the shit. We probably got some new players coming in. First time spectating on the new map with the new engine. Let's see if the spectating transitions are faster. They are not. I think they might be a little bit faster comparatively before the engine upgrade. But we've got Metant Mark at the top left at Black Yard. Black, I can't. Blackthorn? But the boss is here. They found the boss coming in at rank 100, prestige 8. His teammate Light Graves. He's going to be taking down the Butcher. Lucky spawn coming in from Dr. Satan's team. And we've got some music playing down here. Mulka Puber putting on a show, making sure the people that come after him are having a good vibe in the bayou. Sorry, not the bayou. We're in Colorado. I just got to say, this map is absolutely amazing. And we're having that stupid-ass fucking bug where... Yep, yeah, there we go. That stupid humming. <clears throat> Type Regal! Leading the charge for his team to La Plata Mine, getting the first clue. He's going to pre-aim, check his angles, make sure that no one's going to be crossing over to La Plata Mine as they make their approach inward. Their shots fired about south, southeast direction. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over there. See if we can get a little bit of spectating. Something weighing at the bottom left side of the map. Preston Lowe still has to get his first clue. Duke is the team that are shooting, going towards La Plata Mine. There's actually another trio over here on the left side too, so they may collide here at the mine. This is gonna be insane. We're about to have a battle here in Sioux, most likely. Those are shots fired over by where the boss is. Duke. Duke's teammate shooting shots. He's lost one HP bar. He may want to heal up before colliding with this team. They're going to go for this boon in the center. Uh, spectate that team that was making their way towards La Plata. They could be just running this way now. Zareth is also down there at Preston Oil. Did he kill that solo that was down there? I remember there being a solo down there. Oh, whoa, 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 Zareth, you good, bro? No! <laughs> oh, shit. Does he have Necro? He does not. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zareth getting absolutely blown the fuck up. I'm not sure what he was doing. I think he was still trying to figure it out, but I looked at his rank. He was like prestige 2 rank 100 or something. And uh, this team, Light Graves, they banished the boss, Malkaber. They actually decided to avoid going towards the boss location and wanted to see what the fuck was going on down here at Preston Oil. They want to know. They want to get into the action as soon as possible. Um, It could be possible that they also wanted to extract, but... It's a little too early for that. We're only four minutes into the game. I don't know why they would do that. Unless they uh, mess something up. They're one of the hunters. Type Regal in the trio closing in on the solo that is over here. And he actually hears a footstep to his right. He hears footsteps to his right, but it's not his teammate. And it's something wrong. He just ran past the, the teammate. What? Maybe he'll run into one of the, the trios. Is he literally just gonna run past this trio? Oh! He's taking a shot at from the backside! They found him! He's going under the bridge. He's missed both shots. He'll take a shot back. He missed that one. He's at half health. He's gonna heal up. Now his entire team is probably gonna be closing in on this location. He's gonna try to love the shot. He is using that new weapon, I believe. Ah, what is that? The uh Oh my god, something Wang just got shot down from his teammate on the left. Got closed in on, unfortunately. Something Wang is now back in the menus. Unless he has Neko, he does have Necromancer. What, will he make this play? Does the trio have a burn or not? I kind of want to see if the team that was at the boon is going towards the boss right now. And the burn is going to start. Something Wang has very little time to make a decision to either Necro near the end, either Necro now, or just to leave and, and, and just save the MMR. Or I don't even know if Necro still affects solo Necro, so affects MMR like that. But uh, we're going to get and see actually Duke and his trio are actually going to avoid going to the boss too. And going to see what the fuck is going on in Preston Oil. I don't know why. <laughs> they said we ain't here to play the bounty, son. We out here for blood. Duke and his team are getting shot by poison ammo from the hills. Duke also got shot as well. They're lining up across the ridge. Amazing sight lines here on this new map. So, oh my god, what the fuck? Where's he even getting shot from? Duke really needs a cake cover. <laughs> He's poisoned, he can't heal, he's one shot, he'll take it behind the rock, hopefully that's enough cover. 
Sage Nasty. Let's see if we can get a lineup here. He's lined up the shot, gets a nice hit marker on the chest. He needs one more shot. Oh my God, Sage Nasty gets counter strafed on. Popped in the head. He is down. Mona is the only one left up on the team. Will he be able to clutch this? I believe it is still 1v3. I don't know if any of the teammates are down or enemies are down. But if they were, they're probably back up by now. Mona got that open mic on. <laughs> gonna take up the stairs here. There's footsteps to his left here. He's gonna get closed in on. Someone's rushing him slowly but surely. This is looking like a very tight situation. The probability of surviving this is not very high for him. Mona, will he be able to complete the painting and make an artistic clutch with the Lisa? Oh my god, no! Mona Lisa trying to make it away and gets shot in the back. Unfortunately, doesn't make it out. That team goes down. And that's it, The people that spawned at the boss location got the tokens. They're gonna make their way down southwest to where all the action is. Like Graves and Dr. Satan. All part of that trio. Mulkaber. Mulkaber. Or however you say that shit. These, this was the trio that took down this other trio. And I believe that was a chaos bomb they just threw. And now it's time for this trio and that trio to fight it out. The last two teams on the map. There still is, I believe, the Hellborn still not killed yet. So there still is another token available on the map. Ooh, loot register up there. Nice. We're gonna be getting that. Let's go ahead and spectate type Regal. See if he's gonna get the loot register. He's gonna pick up the big dynamite bundle. Pulls the dusters out. He's got his melee on his very last slot tool. Does he have a pledge mark? He actually does it. Wait, he does. He didn't get it? No. <laughs> what? Why didn't he get it? Or was it bugged? It was like a spectating bug or something where he actually got it and it didn't, didn't go off. Oh my god. Actually, Type Regal has a bounty token from the Hellborn. There's no thunder going here, so how does he have... I don't know. It's probably bugged, but uh, Type Regal does have the Hellborn token, and this trio has the Butcher tokens. Let's see which team is going to take it all for the win. The stakes are high here. Type Regal's closing, and they're trying to cut off this extraction. This trio is going to go straight towards it. No lights came up yet. They're still quite a bit of distance away. They're closing in slowly but surely. Because they don't know that they're to the left here. But let's see actually what type Regal is going to be able to do here on that ambush. He's going to take the shot. Hit the tree, unfortunately. Almost gets that nice, lucky, predictable shot. If that guy had kept running in the same direction at the same speed, that would have landed, I believe. Type Regal is not afraid to close in. He's on his last clip. He has nothing to reload. Taps him with the poison ammo. He's now poisoned. He's going to move in. His team is closing in behind him. Got that nice backup. Throws the dynamite for the pressure. There, did, there was someone that just went to his bottom left. I don't know if he saw that. But his teammate will try to take care of him. Gets hit. There's The guy's hit on the... There's a guy right in front of him. Holy shit. He's freaking out. He's like, oh god, he just appeared out of thin air, and now there's someone to his right. The other teammate killed the enemy. Actually, no, the teammate went down. I wonder if they traded. Nope, he's still down there. One left. Tagged. And this double tap. The enemy goes down. Butcher's tokens go down. And unfortunately, they were not able to make it out with their bounty tokens. But Type Regal and his team will take all the tokens. They'll take all the XP. They'll take all the lives. They came here for blood and they came out with the tokens hand delivered near extraction. Very good job coming in from Type Regal and his team. Mulsiber, however you say it. And then we also have to give a shout out to Dama here. Very good plays coming in. <laughs> Literally, we had a little solo here. I think he was just like messing with his controls in the corner here and then some other solo destroyed him with the bomb and then this trio said fuck going to the boss they said let's go to those gunshots and explosions that happened down here and i just spit on my mic ew let's go down to the explosion down here and then the trio that was down here that got the clue at la plata i thought they were gonna go up here and try to contest and at least cut them off right here but they actually went to preston oil too <laughs> what an insane hot spot right down there on that bottom left area amazing job Job coming in from that team good shit
we have four chaos bombs. Let's go ahead and do it. Kill Cody and his team are all the way across the map. Boss fight already. Oh, they think I'm fighting the boss? That's fucking hilarious. There's a Gotham and Cheese 21 down here at Preston West Southwest. Can I completely ignore my gunshots and fighting going off at Deadfall Timbers here? He's got Serpent. He is running so Ash and one and his trio. Actually, I guess we are up here. One of those guys is gonna be splitting up. Try to get this other clue. Try to get it faster. Okay, I see you. Oh, Tangri going in between the cracks of the rocks here. Nice little tunnel there. Amazing flow of this new map. We're gonna go into this supply station. We do have the perks. Which one will they decide to go? I believe Surefoot's my favorite right now. Even though Lawful or Peacemaker, where you can regain the health bars, is pretty cool. I really like the Surefoot, you know, injecting, healing while running. It just feels really nice like throwing dynamite while running. I still have yet to use the demented uh, adrenaline where when you get to critical health, you get like a short burst of movement speed and um, how clutch it, it usually is. But I also feel like the base movement speed has been increased. I don't know. It just feels like I haven't read the patch notes. So you guys let me know if you feel like you're running faster on this map than before. We've got some gunshots going off. They found the boss. Kill Cody and his team are here at the butcher. Is at half health. Cody Mendoza. This was the team that thought that I had fought the boss over here at Deadfall. Unfortunately, I don't think we had anyone go over there, which is kind of funny because last game when we spectated, all that happened over here was one explosion and then two trios wanted to go there. But no. Ashen one is now the you. Just chilling that gas work. This team is really split apart. I'm not sure if they will be able to survive playing separately with how revives work. And there was a hellhound right next to him. Okay, he's good. He's good. They finally found the bus. Uh, Ashen one is off in the butt fuck middle of nowhere. Gas works for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. Conflict of interest. Tadio have found the hellborn. We got a trio at Splash and a trio at the Hellborn. They, it looks like they should be able to take this relatively uncontested. There was that one solo that was at the bottom left side of the map. Not sure what happened to him. I think he died. And remember, there was a solo down here. Socks are being fired. Let's go ahead and see what the fuck is going on. What is, what is going on? Oh, wait. Gotham Cheese is here. He's still alive. But what is the gunshots? I want to see what the gunshots are happening. Is that a chaos bomb? Gotham Cheese. Knows it's red. Knows there's enemies nearby. It's gonna be a 1v3 situation here for Gotham and Cheese 21. Will Batman be able to slice these motherfuckers up? There is some explosions going on here to take a very stealthy approach on this situation. Very good. Walkings. He hears the footsteps on the other side of those stairs. Really trying to locate where this enemy is. He doesn't know it's a trio yet, I believe. But you always gotta assume that it is. He did have a shot lined up. Unfortunately, he did rush it. He gets counter shotted. Now he's almost at. 1 HP. I believe he got shot with the uh, that new weapon that does 145 damage. You are gonna throw a big dynamite bundle out the door to try to disencourage the approach. He gets a hit marker and now he gets breached in on with a shotgun destroyed by this reptile that absolutely stunted on this man. He, he didn't have any business doing that. And now the weird sister trio are approaching the boss lair from the north side. Okay, so we got a trio and a trio right here about to collide. Kill Cody. Taking a peek out the window here on the east side. But the team is coming from the north side. Footsteps are coming in on his left side here. They've got to be careful. The enemies are approaching. Let's see how Kill Cody and his team hold it down. Window will open. Will he peek? His teammate gets hit. Mendoza with the counter crossbow gets downed. Situation is getting tense. The boss is about to finish. Banishing tokens are about to drop. One of his teammates is down. It's 3v2. Zombie mod turkey and his teammate need to get the tokens here. Get that dark side advantage. Unfortunately, he turns the corner and gets shot down. 
Gotham and cheeses back up with Necromancer. He's mad. He gets hit with Dum Dum and dies, unfortunately. Ash and One are the team that are advancing on the situation. M. Quinn breaching in here. Weird Sister is inside the compound. He's gonna try to. Weird Sister is the one that killed two of their enemies. And <laughs> there's a friendly fire going on here. And the third one goes down. The trio is wiped. Weird Sister and his team will take these butcher tokens. Thank you very much. Let's see how this plays out with the Hellborn bounty down here. Let's see what Tangri and his team are going to elect to do. Now it's just these two teams left on the map. Will they go ahead and go towards each other? Towards this restoration boon? A lot of good shit down here. We use your pledge marks on some registers. Oh, they're discussing their options here. Sangri is asking, do we go for the other team? The question is, will the other team go for them? Starting to move westward, opposite direction of where the bounty tokens are. It looks like they may want to just try to escape to this extraction and get what they can. These guys are actually hungry, so they're probably going to go towards this boon and then probably try to chase those tokens, but this token is going to run away and probably get away before they're able to unless these guys take their sweet ass time. Ashen one taking the lead on this situation. Situation. Weird sister. Interesting plays coming out from these guys. These were the ones that kind of split up on their own. Is it the dark side? He isn't going to 360, but he will get this master pledge clear and recharge his dark side. He's going to get the shots and he's going to get the rule register. Mm, delicious shit. It's crazy. They were split up in the beginning. Now they've come together. Absolutely destroyed the opposition with this amazing breach down here. I'm assuming they split up because they have confidence in their own ability to stay alive and hold their own. The Hellboard token is at extraction. The Butcher tokens are still in the mines. It looks like Tangri and his team are going to make it out with half a W, or I guess one third. But hey, a token's a token. A W is a W. You don't have to get all of them. You know, no judgment. Maybe a little bit though. Maybe a little bit but no no real judgment you know i would have done the same thing uh if if i was a uh, uh, broke uh um, i'm sorry I, that was that was rude excellent plays coming out for this team good job 100 deserve the wins i love that necro is a burn trait the other uh the other day i was in a situation 1v2 i had a token and uh, i killed one of his teammates but his other teammate was like hiding behind cover and necro the guy that i killed and then i downed him again the guy that just saw, uh, just got revived and i had this breath of fresh air like a huge weight off my shoulders to the point where I was like, God bless, I don't have to wait and stand there and watch that body for it to get necroed over and over again by his teammate. And I felt free to like move in and close in on that location and, and rotate or do some other play. I ended up taking him down too. It just felt so nice to see necro being used once and then just having that knowledge that they can't self-res or be resed from a distance again. Unless, like, the other teammate does it, too. Like, oh, no. And especially going against solos with the faster burn times. I absolutely love that. You don't have to fucking sit there for two minutes. Instead, it's, like, not really 60 seconds or something like that. It feels pretty fast. Kind of sucks for teams because, like, teams kind of want to have to have extra time to get to their teammates uh, and get a choke on them before they bur burn out. But, honestly, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it's that big a deal. It kind of oh, speeds up the gameplay. Like Brings about the end of game two. Amazing performance. So in this one, we're actually going to do something a little bit more different. So we actually came with one Chaos Bomb instead of four. I feel like four was just a little too fake. You know, it was a dead giveaway. But the difference here is now, instead of having four, we're going to have one. And we're actually going to be going and running to the center of the map. I should have brought a stamina shot, but I wasn't thinking about this before I went in. I thought about it in the loading screen. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Try to get the fuck close to Split River down here in the middle. I'm going to throw that Chaos and hopefully teams from both sides of these areas or somewhere will be drawn to that chaos bomb and I will... oh. oh hello I'm on a bird cage oh shit what there's loo registers in the fucking bird cages I didn't know that that's crazy oh there we go nice oh, you will not get the satisfaction of killing me
<laughs> All right, let's go ahead and spectate the guy that shot me. We got a trio down on the bottom left, left for bread. <laughs> Spag Kitty. Okay, we got a little little funny punny uh, food names going on. We got a trio down on the Goro Minor or whatever it is. It's crossed out. Dr. Satan, we were actually spectating this guy yesterday morning, uh, which was game two, which is a game before this one, I believe, if not the first one. This third game that I'm recording is the morning after yesterday, so that's crazy. He's, he's playing two two mornings in a row. Pretty cool. Dr. Satan coming in again today in this game. Fortunate but ghost. Okay, nice. Solo. He's already in the mines. Zoro Freak. Another solo. Glitch.Days. I believe this. <laughs> yeah, this is the, I think this is the team that shot me. But I, I literally climbed up top of that roof over there and just, I think just. Yeah, we've got some action going in. Arkin Picada is going to be closing in. They're watching here because they heard the gunfire, they heard the combat, the chaos bomb. There's two people right in front of him. The duo is closing in. They don't see the solo up here. Arkin is going to not take the shot. He's going to keep his stealth position, trying to wait for the right opportunity to line up a good shot. But he is kind of standing out a little bit more now in the open. He is... Now I think I do see three players, but that wasn't a trio. Oh, yeah, I saw a zombie. Interesting. Arkin just watching, chilling. It's pretty cool. I think we did bring another team over here. Like, I want to see Left for Bread. This trio is probably also going to go to Split River Mill. Split River is about to be a hot spot here. Leandro Santos. There's a trio in front of him. Now it's trio versus trio. Santos takes the shot. He's going to throw a dynamite. Put some pressure on him. Gets the kill. That's one down on the enemy. They need to kill two more. He has some footsteps behind him. There's a team coming up behind him, too. We've got three teams here, I believe. I could be mistaken, though. One is shot. One of the enemies is hit marker. Santos is going to try to close in slowly. He had a shot lined up. Unfortunately, he flicks it a little too late. Trying to land some hits. Unfortunately, cannot hit anything yet. Let's see if Santos can do something here. The dynamite's gonna come out. Santos runs away. He's just barely to get outside of its range. Santos has a, he was thinking about pulling the beetle out. Now his teammate's gonna come rushing in with him. Santos gonna hold the angle on the left. Try to watch our teammates Watch his teammates left side. Concept peanut bomb goes down. Enemies are split. And I just heard someone else go down, so I believe this is two down on the enemy trio here. The one left is behind the concertina bomb. Yep, right there. Santos can't land a shot. Needs to go into the practice range to get warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it is the morning, and to be fair, it is Hunt Showdown. It is kind of hard to land your shots in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's just, it just be like that. So they may have gotten that third person down, it seems like. Yeah, he is down. He just ended up bleeding out. Azor's Freak is now gonna be closing in on that action. The trio is up here in the mines. Let's go ahead and see what's happening at, uh... Oh, actually, there's a duo out here, too. So there's a team here, solo here, and a trio in, in the mines. They're all about to collide at the same time. On top, in between these two mines, there's about to be another hot spot here. I believe this was the duo that was also at Split River. They may have taken down the solo, or, or that solo is still there, chilling. Glaze, they're going to be fighting this trio first. The solo is to this, to the left of this duo. This duo's got to be careful. I'm going to rotate after taking a shot. Alert trip mines go off 
on the train tracks outside. Not sure who set those off. <laughs> Maybe it was his teammate on accident. <laughs> and now they're going to be holding up, sieging, shooting from inside of the mine. One of the enemies is going to be rushing in from the left side, closing in. He's got a spear. He gets tagged, takes some cover. Enemy is going to be hiding behind that wall. What will Glitch Day's TTV do? He's going to rotate, take a wide swing. Very smart. Not make it too close. He's taking an injection. And he gets shot again. Another hit marker. Unfortunately, he does not go down. He gets hit back. And now he gets double tapped down. TTV, his teammate, needs to clutch up for him. He is the one left. Another TTV. I wonder if they're streaming. Nope. Will he be able to clutch it for his teammate? There is a trio in front of him. And there is that solo down here as well, so we gotta be careful. He's gonna be coming in with the Nagant Silence Pistol. Most, misses both shots, but his position is not yet compromised, but it's about to be. Uh-oh. Missing all the shots. He's gonna get closed in on. This is gonna be a rough situation. Sticky spot. Oh, wait. He gets one down. He gets another tagged. Oh, my God. TTV, nice effort going in. Nice try, but unfortunately, it did not pay off. He was not able to clutch. Arkin, the other solo that was down here taking his time. Santos, the trio, and there's a solo down here as well, I believe. So two solos are closing in on this trio. So yeah, so Azurus Freaks is still down here a little bit scary. He's going to take this uh, angle here, and there's a other solo on the top side. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, they're both kind of... Arkin is closing in towards this trio's location. So there's going to be another fight probably here, unless they both stay stealthy. Actually, looks like Santos, this team, is going to be running towards that other solo. Making sure that body stays down. Let's take a look. Dr. Satan should be running in close. Let's go ahead and look at the other solos. Well, let's see where the solo is at. Yeah, he's right outside here. And the trio is inside taking the boon. Azur's Freaks can hear the footsteps right next to him to his right. Let's see what his play is. He's got the spear ready. A man of calm. And now he's getting shot at by the other solo, the uh, Arkin Pakoda. <laughs> Patoka. <laughs> nice shot. I believe the enemy goes down. Patoka is popping off a little bit. He just took one down. He's holding the angle. Oh, <laughs> stops aiming as soon as the peak. Working. Trying to rotate on both sides of these rocks. The stakes are high here. There's only three teams left on the map. If they can kill this, if this person can kill this trio and that solo, he can have the whole entire map to himself. This gunfight's going to be going on back and forth. Both players get tagged. Arkin Patoka is going to decide to heal behind this rock now. Probably the enemy is also doing the same. Arkin taking a little bit of high ground from behind his corner. Arkin is now out of incendiary bullets. Does he have backup ammo? Or is all that he had was incendiary? He has no more ammo left. He needs to switch his weapon. I don't think he realized. Uh-oh. <coughs> now he does switch to his regular ammo. Seven bullets left back into the pocket. And I believe Azra's Freaks is now closing in on the trio as well. This trio is going to be st in a sticky situation. Because they have one teammate down, I believe. Maybe two. Because I haven't seen the third one yet. Arkin Patota. I believe that was someone else. So yeah, there, there is still two people left up on the trio. Arkin is going to take this backside, rotate. Oh, Freak is going to be... Actually, that was Freak. What happened? Wait, no, the trio got wiped. No way. The two solos wiped the trio. Now, Azra's Freaks is hunting Arkin Patota. Patoka. Jesus Christ. Wait, what happened? What happened? Arkin? Are you good? 
I think Arkin is lagging. I think Arkin got called into work. It is 8 a.m. in the morning right now. His wife is probably chewing him out. It's like, why are you playing games so early in the morning? You should be. Is Arkin lagging out? That's crazy. So, yeah. So Arkin started the f firefight got one down and then Azur's freak was able to come up behind and take out i believe either one or two of the rest of the trio but between both of the solos they were able to wipe the trio now it's just both solos left but something happened to um uh oh what he, he disappeared he disconnected no patoka disconnected bro what happened no Azur's freak is now the only one left on the map unfortunately i don't think he knows this now because he knows there's still someone else alive he's gonna be chilling here for a minute oh and that's crazy because you don't actually i don't think you get to see their body after they disconnect so there's no proof that he is or isn't in the game again wait He's back. He's reconnected. Arkin, come on. He's back. Arkin is back. He's connected. He's jumping. He's moving. No way. Dude, they're so close. Arkin is right here. Arkin is back. He's going to be moving in north, moving northeast, east-ish. Actually, he's going to be turning back around. He does. He did remember that there was another player here. Tense situation going around around these mines. I think that chaos bomb really helped. <laughs> I mean, everyone was on their way that way, and the circle was closing in, or the, the, the map was closing in that way. So it looks like Arkin is actually going to go north, try to find a clue. He's moving on from the situation. Freak still not letting go. He's going to stay here, be the rock, become the rock. Can you smell? Hit it. Arkin got that sure foot with beast face. <laughs> I know it just feels illegal, bro. It just feels illegal. Wait, where are the crow's eyes? Do they have eyes? They do. There's just like little small circles though. I mean, my graphics are on high, right? Yeah. Freak has decided to move locations. He's got his third clue. The boss is going to be at Terminus where I spawned. <laughs> I spawned right here and ran past it. And just popped a chaos bomb. That's hilarious. Uh, Arkin is eventually going to get his third clue and realize it is also Terminus Rail Yard. So eventually, these two solos will meet up if both of their objectives are to complete this bounty and extract. Arkin is taking a little damage from the behinds. He's got some Hellhounds aggroed Arkin. Arkin. Arkin is out of stamina. This is this. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> As was free, we'll be closing in on the boss location. The spider is about to be started. Arkin is going to be following him up behind him slowly but surely. Freak has made it to the spider location. The Hellborn is still up, by the way. I just heard it. It's like somewhere over here, I believe. Yeah, I can hear it in dark sight. So, Hellborn is still alive. Spider is still alive. Freak is at the spider location. Probably gonna get it started with the spear Arkin. Gonna get his third and final clue to find out that it is Terminus Rail Yard. Mm. Freak! Wait, why is he turning purple? What the hell? <laughs> That's not no flare skin. What the hell? Is he trying to. He doesn't have Dauntless. I think he thought he had Dauntless. So he hit him with the flare, try to put the, the spider on fire a little bit, but the, <laughs> I don't know why that fire was purple. Freak is gonna take his time here. Arkin is gonna be closing in. So uh, I don't think Freak is gonna be able to finish this before Arkin gets there. I wish I could see their loadouts without them having to switch weapons. And Freak is actually gonna try to melee with his flare fist pistol. <laughs> Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. He doesn't have Necro, he doesn't have Necro. Freak dies to a hive, trying to punch it with the flare gun. Oh my God, he does not have Necro and Freak. Tragic accident, what? <laughs> I guess you could say it was a freak accident. All right, Arkin is the only one left on the map. 
it's an obvious W for him. Unless he also goes down in the same type of situation. What happened, bro? Oh, you know what happened? He, this is what happened. Freak threw his spear, and it was the only melee weapon he had. And so instead of switching to like the butt of his melee of his like main weapons, he decided to punch with the flare pistol, which is basically unarmed damage. It's gonna take at least, I don't know, like four or five at least. I don't know how many hits from the fist the hive takes but it's not less than like four he definitely did not have enough time he was not able to take the hive down quick enough to get those hives off of him he didn't have necromancer running in as a solo big mistake coming in arkin does have necromancer though so he is still in this fight even if he goes down but he could go down twice and he can only use it once now necromancer is a burn trait once you use it it is gone so arkin is actually gonna decide to go the other way and avoid this boss location. Not sure what he's up to. Maybe he's going around to loot. Okay, so Arkin is gonna... He grabbed a lantern and now he's gonna go all the way north. What is he doing? What's the play here? What what is the play? I'm I'm curious. What is the play here, Arkin? What 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 what? Because he drops the lantern. That was pointless. Uh does he think there's like someone near the boss location? Because that's the only explanation I have for this type of behavior. And I think that is what it is. But when Arkin approached the compound, the compound should have been white. I don't know, maybe he thought the Hellborn screams were like a little, <laughs> were like an indication of someone else being on the map. Um, but he's going to be closing in on this spire location very close, very carefully. Always assume that there's someone else left on the map. Very good to take precautions, especially in this game. So I really want him to get close enough to the compound to realize that there's no one left on the map. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe Freak. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck, man. It happens sometimes, you know? Sometimes you're just like, you know what? I'm gonna let this hive kill me. I don't give up. I'm just done. I'm done. He missed his spear and he was like, yeah, I'm out of this game. Peace out. Go next. You're gonna be closing in. Gonna pop the E. Still not close enough to get the flash. It is flashing white. Arkin now knows it is fully clear. He's gonna go in. He's trying to take down this spider. He's got the flaming bullets ready. And he's got the spear ready. He's gonna take it down. Arkin now being the second person to come in and start this spider. He's gonna be the only one left on the map. You should be able to get it. Hopefully. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick the spectating through just to make sure no funny business happens, you know? The spider is down and the spider is vanishing. Arkin is now gonna be running towards the north side of the map. I'm not sure why. Yeah, so I mean Arkin just banished the boss and he's gonna be running away. He I mean at 50% he can just turn back and get get there in time when the tokens drop, but this is very unorthodox behavior. I don't know if he's just gonna go extraction because he doesn't care about the money and just wanted the XP. Um it doesn't look like he's prestiging though. He is rank 100, prestige 10. So he would have already prestiged by now. Yeah, so that was southeast. So Hellborn's like over here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Spider bounties are down. Arkin is actually going to let them stay. And I think this is actually pretty. S oh, I'm sorry, what's good? I'm sorry, what's good? Arkin, are you okay? Bro, please find. No! What? There was no point in doing that, man. Why? Why? He wa he didn't lose a health bar. Why did he just down himself and burn Necro like that? This is the most questionable gameplay I've ever seen. What the hell? I cannot comprehend what is going on. Guys, in the comments, tell me. What was the point of him downing himself to burn Necro when he had full health bar? He, he wasn't missing a single health bar. I don't think Arkin went down once. Yeah, he, he never went down. That just doesn't make sense. Is he is he now going to go extract? Listen, I, I don't I don't just do his gameplays like that. I'm just trying to figure out like what the thought process like what's going on? Like I think this guy has more than enough money. He doesn't prestige, so he doesn't care about bounties. So I can, okay, I can get that. But like, what was, what was all this, man? Like, what was, what was all that? Like, I just didn't, I didn't understand that. So 
Yeah, this man, he doesn't really care about the uh, bounty tokens, but I don't know why you wouldn't. They also give XP too. I guess that's that's just how you can play when when you have like no ranks to go. You have nothing else to do. Just play the game and play for the fights. Arkin really coming in here for some blood, some action. Wanted to get in, kill some people, wipe some trios. He did just that. Now he's going to extract. He banished the tokens. Or he banished the spider, left the tokens because cool guys don't look at bounties. And he's going to go ahead and just extract Hellborn still left on the map. Damn. He said, if I can't have it, neither can any of y'all. Arkin coming out on top. Doesn't need no bounty. He was out for blood. He got the vengeance. He's taken out the anger he needed to this morning. Arkin, he left the game. He got disconnected. He got reconnected. Came out on top. Good job. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to support my channel, links down below. Other than that, have a great day. Peace.